welcome to the channel. My name is Lexi. And if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, what's up, y'all? Um, we head into Ikea right now. I was supposed to be filming a get ready with me, but do I my mind be like working? If I film getting ready with you guys, I will leave the house and forget major things. And I, I'm all over the place and it's just too hard to keep moving the camera and set it up. But I'm gonna show you guys at some point my outfit of the day because my shirt is lit. So, mm -hmm. we are on our way to Ikea. I am going to be doing a makeover of my daughter's room, my eight-year-old daughter's room. And so we gotta go to Ikea, pick up a couple of things. I'm supposed to be going to the lab today. I was supposed to do that first, but I am actually running behind. The kids are still in school, and I kids about 45 minutes out, and when I get there, I lose track of time. So I said, you know, let me go to Ikea first, and then I'll go to the lab another day. We got the baby in the back. Hubby's pumping gas right now. And so, we just gonna do a little Ikea shopping today. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm using my, he got a diaper on? Oh. Y'all, it's this dude over there. I thought he had a diaper on. I don't really like men who sag their pants. Like, I could see, you know, not worrying about whatever cases, but your whole ass don't need to be out. That's just me personally. Yeah. Anywho, um, yeah, we don't know where that Ikea. That's what you're doing today. Ikea, maybe the lab, maybe the grocery store. I figured I'd just bring you guys along and chill with me today. I am having, um, like, really intense... My bad, y'all. How are you talking to me? I think. Oh, that's what I was saying. See, look, my mind all over the place. Um, I'm using my earbuds today to film so that I don't have to be readjusting the volume. Because I noticed in one of my last videos that whenever I switch the camera view around, the volume changes. So we're going to be testing that out today and see how that goes out here in these streets. I hope that you're having a good time. I swear. Why you bumping, guys? Let me tell you what, guys. Let me tell you guys what's on my mind. I really want to do a podcast. Like, before I started my channel, I was thinking podcast. Only because I like to talk. And I don't know if you guys would be into me just having, like, chit-chat sessions and sharing what's on my mind. Having um, DID, I deal with um, other personalities in my head. I, I don't want to say I hear voices, but, like, I hear chatter outside of um, my own personal monologue. And we just be having conversations. And I really want to share those with you guys, but I'm like, nobody's going to want to watch a video of me just talking. So if you think you might want to hear what be going on in my head, let me know down in the comments below. Because, yo, we be having some lit ass conversations in my head, and I just be wanting to share that. So, I mean, I touched the road. Alright you guys, so here's my attempt at an outfit of the day. My jacket and my jeans are both from Forever 21. The shirt I got for Christmas, I'm not really sure where they got it from, but I love it. It says, me, weird, bitch, I'm limited edition. Alright guys, we are going into Ikea. And um, I don't know what my lighting is going to look like because my ring light died on the way here. But we're going to figure it out in editing. I'm so mad because I think I came to Ikea for no reason. I went online on their app to check for what I came to pick up and it's telling me that it's not in stock and I'm like no way no how but Ikea has this thing where if you're ordering something say you don't need all the pieces to what you're ordering just a couple of the pieces um, it'll still tell you that it's not in stock if what you're looking for is missing things even if it's not what you need like so for instance I'm looking at a dresser well not a dress well yeah my dresses too but like this loft bed that my daughter has I'm looking for it and it comes with a desk so I'm hoping like the pieces of the desk are not here and that's why it's telling me it's not here but we're gonna figure it out either way we'll leave with some meatballs let's start shopping
you guys, if I ever have the opportunity to build my own home or redo, um, like renovate a home from like top to bottom, one of these kitchens will be my kitchen. Most likely a kitchen with an island in the middle um, that I can wash dishes with. Because I do plan on having, um, you know, family style dinners and stuff with my kids and my hubby and the baby. And um, I want a kitchen that's very inviting where I can be washing the dishes or chopping up vegetables or whatever the case is and still have like this. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys. You know, not this particular one, probably the one I was at, the first one, where the sink is in the middle and, you know, I have a nice little table or something and I can chit chat with the kids while they're doing their homework or just sitting down and talking. I love, like, kitchen, kitchens with open spaces. I feel like kitchen is where it should be so much more inviting. I find comfort in food, so obviously I love the kitchen. And, oh, look, this one right here. Like that, you know? I'm at the counter, I'm cooking, I'm washing the dishes or whatever the case is, and on the other side have a nice little table or something to be able to talk to people. I don't know, yeah, guys. My biggest thing in life is to make enough money to build my own home because I like things a certain way and I'll be so excited if I could do it. guys so we are heading out of ikea we're heading to the lower level actually and come to find out everything that i did need they actually do not have in stock i was hoping it was just missing pieces that i didn't need but come to find out the whole bed is just not in stock the dresser bases are not in stock the drawers are in stock but the bases are not so we're gonna explore the lower level and i think when i get home i'm gonna show you guys what i did pick up i grabbed some meals but i'm not gonna eat them here because i just don't one have time and Two, I don't like eating in public like that. I don't know about y'all, but I can't be fucking my food up the right way when I'm in public. So let me show you guys the downstairs and then we're gonna head out. And I think I'll see you guys again when I get home. So, um, Ikea disappointed me, and we decided to swing by Target right fast. I know I said I'll see you guys when I get home, but we decided to swing by Target right fast to see if I can find a dress or something for my daughter here. But check this out, you guys. I swear Target was red. I don't know where that burgundy wall came from, but I swear Target was red. So I'm gonna come in here, or well, I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna go in there and see if I can find a dresser. I'm trying to find a coffee mug too, because I still haven't found one that fits my size coffee. What? Oh. He's talking about some kind of cart for the baby. I'll see y'all inside. Yeah, she was perfectly fine in a regular cart, but for some reason, he felt a need to push this big ass donkey cart around with just one kid. I swear, 
he doing so much. This is just for one kid. This car is made for two. As long as he pushing it and not me. Yeah, I have not been in Target in years. I think the last time I was in Target was pre-pandemic. Sorry. It got me. Look at its Easter stuff. Yeah, the last time I was in Target. The last time I was in Target was pre-pandemic. And so I can't even tell you. Target get me every time. Let me let me shop, y'all. So you guys, I'm shocked. I did not. Like I said, I haven't been in Target since before pre since pre-pandemic, which was what, two years ago. I did not know. Target had plus size mannequins, y'all. The last time I seen Target mannequins, they was them, you know, small, skinny broads. You know the ones down there? Look at these mannequins. And she curvy. That one ain't in a pink thick. Go ahead, Target. Target stepping up their diversity. Let me see. Stand next to my sisters in thickness. I can't with myself. Yeah. I can't. I don't forgot already what I came here for. Was that a mirror? Hold on. What was that? What was that? Oh, that is a mirror. I wish that. A mirror. Check myself out. Let me try to remember what I came in here for. I'm, I get distracted very easily. We already hit up that little dollar location that they be having and pick up some Easter stuff for the kids. I'm gonna try to make some Easter baskets. <sighs> I'm windy. God, I need to get out the house more. All right, you guys, I have swung by the book section of Target and I gotta give Target props. I am seeing a lot of melanated books on the shelf that I am very interested in buying. I think I'm gonna pick some of these up for my kids. Like this one right here is grabbing my attention. That one right there definitely got my attention. This one right here for my little baby. That one right here for my smart little 12 year old. I'm surprised. I've never seen this many brown people books. Brown people books, fuck that. I've never seen that many blessed and melanated books on a shelf in the bookstore let alone in a Target. Target, I'll do a Walmart with the diversity, I'll tell you that much. in the candy section of Target, I am in trouble. I will definitely be seeing you guys when I get back to the house. My phone is on 11%. Oh my God, and I did not bring my um, backup battery with me to charge my phone while I'm filming. I'm not, I told you guys, I always forget something. And my kids are getting ready to come home, so I need my phone to be open. I will definitely check back in with you guys when I get to the house. All right, you guys, I have made it home. My phone is on the brink of, you know. So let me wrap this up real quick. To wrap it all up, on my way out, I just decided to give Starbucks a try again. Every time I go to Starbucks, it reminds me as to why I keep giving Dunkin' Donuts my money because I feel like Starbucks is overrated and this shit is nasty. I got this pink drink. It's the um, dragon fruit one. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe the last time I got the strawberry one before the pink drink, the strawberry one. I didn't like it because one, I don't like strawberries. And two, it's made with coconut milk. But I said, like, let me, I like dragon fruit. Let me try something. I said, can I get it with almond milk instead of coconut milk this time? And I can't say I like it. But I don't hate it. But I don't really like it. <laughs> so I'm probably going to pass this off to one of them kids. Like it just has this <laughs> in the <laughs> taste in the back. Like I don't know what that is. And it tastes just like the strawberry one did. I don't know what they're adding to it. But it just has this <laughs> in the back of the throat taste going on. So we tried her and her fancy ass tall cups. I do like the cup. I will give you that. Starbucks, I like your cup. It's cute, but I don't like Starbucks coffee. I don't like none of the food, and sure as I don't like that. 
Well, I don't hate it. I don't like it. I don't love it. Eh. Anyways, I did get taken out. I've had an adventurous day. Did not make it to the lab. The only thing we managed to do today was go to two stores to buy things I don't necessarily need and spend some money. So, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And go spend that money if you got it. Bye.